What is going on, everybody? This is Trader Josh, okay? He is put away right now, okay? If you see, it is 427 in the morning. You'll be able to see it in a minute when we look at the charts of Molin Automotive. I will show you guys the time. But with that being said, you guys, I'm Trader Josh, and I want to let you guys know that God loves you all. Don't you ever forget it. Okay, but now with that being said, now, let's, I want to let you guys know that, okay, I did a video the other day titled Molin Automotive, the dumpster fire EV stock or somewhere in between those lines. And it hit me. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not an entertainer. I, I really am. But I need to keep it professional, okay? So I can't just talk down on the stock and show you guys only, you know, a toilet that says Mullen Automotive and David Mitchery. I have to give you guys some of the backstory, okay? So let me go ahead and do that, and then we'll get into the charts. But I'm going to give you guys some of the good fundamentals and, and a real technical analysis on Mullen Automotive, okay? So first of all, they were founded in 2010. I'm pretty sure David Mitchery did not found them. Okay. He might have came across them, but he did not found them. Okay. Next stop. Next one. Okay. So Molin stock keeps falling after Russell gave Molin the boot. Meanwhile, Molin is trading at a market capitalization of around 30 million. Despite it announcing yesterday that it had over 235 million in cash and cash equivalents. So I don't believe that they have 235 million in cash. Okay. Mullen Series D holders exercise final 100 million investment option f prior to June 30th expiration. Okay. I'll get more into that in a minute. But. This cash figure should be able to sustain operating capital for the next two years. Dilution. Okay, I wanted to get into some of the dilution. Dilution seems to be the major issue behind Mullen's decline, and it doesn't seem to be over yet. On June 26, the EV company announced a resale of up to 2.33 billion shares of common stock outstanding as of June 22, totaled. 643.37 million, which means that a completion of the resale in whole would spike shares outstanding even further. So why? Why? Let's 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 ask this one question. Why does David Mitry keep putting more shares into the market? Why does it why do they keep why do they keep trying to dilute? Why do they keep trying to Bring more sell, more shares into the market. Okay, one to earn capital. Okay, they this is a way they earn money. Okay, and and honestly, I'm not the person running Molin Automotive, and neither are you, unless you're watching this and you are. I'm not talking about you, but maybe, just maybe, all the dilution will be. Will be understood in the end. Maybe in the end we'll be like, "Oh, that's why you diluted the company to the toilet." Oh, you know, maybe someday we'll realize. Maybe there was a reason why they did all this. Oh, here is the reason. Okay, what? What is Russell two thousand? And why did they remove? Um. Okay, so yeah, Russell gave Mullen the boot. Okay, so next, what is Russell 2000? Why would they remove Mullen? The Russell 2000 index is a small cap U.S. stock market index that makes up the smallest 2000 stocks in the Russell 3000 index. It was started by the Frank Russell Company in 1984. The index is maintained by FTSE Russell. And I'm pretty sure that stands for uh, Frank, a subsidiary of the London stock of the London Stock Exchange. 
Okay, the Russell 2000 is a stock market index that tracks the performance of the smallest publicly traded companies in the U.S. Okay, why remove Mullen out of 2,000 other companies? Mullen was removed from the index because it failed to achieve a price of at least $1 on FTSE Russell's rank day, which occurred on April 28th. An existing member could also be considered for eligibility if its average daily closing price over the past 30 days is $1 or greater. Unfortunately, Mullen failed to satisfy either requirements. Okay, so we know Mullen Automotive, they just couldn't meet the expectations that were expected of them. Okay. <sighs> I mean, did you expect it of them? Really? Okay. Like, what what are we going on? Our fourth reverse split in six months? No, it's exaggerating, but look. I'm not here to talk crap, okay? I'm here to put some things out there that you may have not read, okay? Don't buy the Mullen hype. Mullen spin can't save its stock. Mullen Automotive stock continues to lose value month after month. At the same time, Mullen Automotive issued a press release that cherry-picked seemingly positive stats. Investors should continue to avoid Mullen stock. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. If Mullen has any type of momentum volatility, any type of upward movement that is looking pretty crazy straight up. I'm not saying we're at 11 cents right now, okay? I'll get into this in a minute. I'll get into this in a minute, okay? I don't want to, I want to get all the news out first, okay? We will get into the stock. It's dropping. The prices are looking great. A dollar, you get 10 shares. We'll get into that in a minute. Just, just, just listen. I tried to warn you about Molin Automotive before. It's a startup business that's trying to win in a highly competitive EV manufacturing field. In a time of tight lending conditions, financially unsound businesses can't continue to survive on hype and hope. Still, we can at least hear what Molin Automotive's management had to say in a recent press release. Just don't get your hopes up too much, as we'll look under the hood and find that Molin Automotive still has major problems. And I put continue because I was not done with this just yet. So let's 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 just go back real quick. As we'll look under the hood and find that Mullen Automotive still has major problems. More reverse spl Mullen stock splits are likely. As you may recall, the Nasdaq exchange previously warned Mullen Automotive that it was out of compliance with the exchanges listed requirements. Specifically, Mullen stock fell below the $1 minimum bid price threshold. Then Mullen Automotive turned to the old playbook and distressed publicly listed businesses and enacted a reverse stock split. This artificially inflated the Mullen's share price above $1. Artificially. And, and, and I'll tell you guys, on Robinhood, artificially okay let's just get that artificially remember that word artificially now on robin hood it says mullen automotives 52 week high is 42 dollars and 75 cents okay i did not put that in in this in this slide because 52 week high 250 so I did not watch after the reverse split. I don't remember what the reverse split was for, okay, because I sold before then. I have a video. Matter of fact, I'll go to it right now and show you. I did make a 4700 on this one. And you know what I did after that 4700 Okay, we ain't going to get too much into that. Donated. Donated money. Thought it might help with taxes. We ain't gonna get Look at that. Okay, guys, so that's just proof right there, guys. Okay, okay, guys. So I didn't, I didn't want to put that in here because I knew it wasn't true, okay? It, it, I knew that it wasn't true, but it was most likely artificially inflated. I have never seen Mullen at $47. I feel like 
I know, I don't feel like nothing. I know that reverse splits artificially inflate the price. Okay. So, and, and I wish they didn't. Okay. I wish they didn't. I wish, I wish stocks was like, okay, Mullen Automotive, 10 cents, right? Reverse split turns it to $10. Keep letting us know that it was 10 cents. And then what, have that gap right there and say RS in between that gap. And then go all the way to the $10. So we know, okay, that's a reverse split right there. But they don't do that. They That $0.10 cents turns into five, like $30. And in the history, like five minutes ago, it was $30. Whoa, we missed it. You didn't miss nothing, okay? It's artificially inflated. The Mullen share price above $1. And the company was back in compliance with the NASDAQ exchanges listing requirements. Fast forward to June 2023, and Mullen stock has fallen far below $1 at $0.10. Cents. Okay, wild. This was, um, I cannot believe this. Like, literally. Where does it say? Is it called this one? They were warned about compliance from October to, October to December is when I was in on it. So that's when they were doing a lot. And Mullen stock has fallen far below. Because of its low share price, the stock could again be in jeopardy of delisting from the NASDAQ exchange. For a similar reason, Mullen Automotive might also get booted off of the Russell 2000 index. Okay. So it's looking the way that those words were put. Maybe they're not yet, but they are. Okay. So Mullen stock will probably head lower. And you think, well, dang, Trader Josh. At 11 cents, how low can it go? Well, see, it's only up to one person. Mullen, um, Mullen Automotive has already resorted to a reverse share split. Plus, the company will issue the company issued a seemingly mandatory AI focused press release. Yet, here we are, and Mullen Automotive's investors still have a lot of catching up to do. It's fine to hear what Mullen Automotive's management has to say, but at the end of the day, However, you have to make your own investment decisions, okay? And believe it or not, that's this is probably the realest paragraph you can hear someone ever say about Mullen Automotive, okay? With that being said, Mullen Automotive stock is not worth your hard-earned money. Okay, Mullen has 40% of its market cap in cash. And, and, and if what we just read is true, they have more than 40%. They have over two, over 400% of its market cap in cash. If they supposedly have $235 million in cash, supposedly, okay, I, I don't believe nothing Dave Mitri says. I don't believe nothing the company says. But... That is a, but that is about as much as is needed to cover quarterly operating costs. Dilution seems inevitable. Okay, it's surprising that the inventory balance only appeared on this year's balance sheet after acquiring another startup. Despite years of development and existence, Mullen stock can only be a speculative instrument for short-term trading. The only serious risk to my sale rating is the percentage of shares outstanding sold short, and. We'll get to that in a minute. Since the company went public, competition in the market has ex- increased significantly. And now it looks like Molin has lost its chance against this backdrop. Okay. And that's going to be the end of the slides. Let's get into the charts, guys. What I think. Now, okay, I am. I do a lot, I do a lot of talking, right? About like crap about Molin. That's why I felt like making a video to kind of like back up and also give you guys a, give you guys something to think about something to keep something to keep in the back of your head and not, not in the front of your head now but in the back okay so one thing i will say we're making new 52 week lows every day now guys now guys pay attention at at in this range, four or five cent that used to be Zella. I don't know what's going on with Zella now. I totally forgot and put that behind me. But one thing I will say is if we can pull down to this five cents, I'd honestly feel 
comfortable telling you guys, you know, it might be a smart decision to, you know, put a couple hundred into it. Just because I have seen the way that Mo- the way that Molin has momentum and volatility. I have seen how Molin chooses some days to do very wonderful things. Now, at five cents, if if that's not a, a level you could feel comfortable at, you know, putting a couple hundred in, like I said a minute ago, like I said, you have to make your own investment decisions, okay? I'm just saying, this is what I would say, but at the end of the day, you have to make your own investment decisions, okay? But five cents, I would short it and buy at five and sell at six gladly. 20% profit. Five, six, 20%. Okay. Put $100 in, you got 120 It don't sound like a lot, but that's $20. Okay. Okay. That's one gallon of gas. All right. But I'm not going to get too deep into this one, guys. I'm going to let you guys know. Let me know how you liked the video. Let me know. Do you think that I was spot on? Do you think I was wrong about anything? And let me know, you know. Let me know after you subscribe, though, now that I think about it. Because hit that subscribe button, man. I do a lot for you guys. Like I said, it's 4.43 in the morning. This is my third video of the night. Third or fourth. I will be getting I will be doing videos. But you guys have to understand, man. If you made it this far, you got to understand. For me to be sitting in this chair right here and on this camera right here, I got to have something to my name, okay? I can't just have zero dollars sitting here talking to you guys like life is good, okay? I have to have something, okay? I have to be, you know, making my life better, being a better man than I was yesterday. And I'm not going to sit in this chair and talk to you guys if I'm not doing nothing with my life, okay? So I'm just be real with you guys. If you don't see me here for a while, I'm working on myself, okay? Trader Josh, okay? Let me know how you guys, you know, let me know how you guys like the video. Join the Discord in the link below. Also, check out some of my merch too. I did spend a lot of money on that merch, okay? And I've and I've wore over five hundred dollars worth of my merch. Okay. It won't be sold, but it will be wore. Okay, you guys. With that being said, you guys, I love you all. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. But wait. Subscribe to my dad's channel below, Option Trading. He he does futures trading, option trading, a lot of that. I don't really know how to do all that, but he's the man with it, okay? Subscribe to his channel, motivate him to make videos daily, and motivate him to show you guys how to make money because he does it, okay? He does it. And with that being said, you guys, so what up? Join the Discord, subscribe to my dad. Like I said, though. You have to make your own investment decisions. Okay, so you can subscribe if you want to. I'll see you guys when I see you guys, all right? Okay.